why Museveni would want to fund his opponent. Because it's, one can see it as a contradiction in terms. Why should I give you money when you are going to compete against me? You see, Museveni knows that there is no power in parliament. He doesn't care whether you are in... In fact, he wants us to be in parliament to legitimize government. Say, but uh, you also win elections. You are also there. You know? Uh, why do you complain when you are defeated? You are also there. So he doesn't really... He, he actually wants us to be in parliament provided we don't seek to remove him provided we are good opposition. If we are good opposition, he has no problem with us being in parliament. He will give us money so that we are there, so that we are also in the local areas. There is some legitimate uh, legitimization it creates that there is opposition in Uganda, you know, there is, you know. And without that money actually Opposition, indeed, even as some kind of flowers may, may cease. Because you may even fail to get people to be nominated. So he wants to fund an important opposition. Secondly, he does not want these opposition groups to link up the linking up of opposition groups is something that he does not want to see. Whichever, the opposition groups must fight each other, actually, must be at war with each other. And he is behind the creation of feuds between opposition groups. And part of that money is intended to sustain the separation of political parties that are in, in captivity. They should not link up. Now, if we don't do that, we will never get out of captivity. So that's why, for me, even now, yes, I'm affected by what is going on in FDC, because it's a strong, it has been a strong party with a strong mission of liberation. So we can certainly we suffer. But at the end of the day, what will liberate Uganda is to have a linkage of all those who are in captivity, regardless of their parties. We must get together and not focus on his election but focus on a resistance struggle to remove him. So he's opposed to both, to both. He is opposed to any resistance struggle outside the elections. He wants just, if you are talking about elections, you are his friend. Why? Because the election is the killing ground. The election is a prepared killing ground, which will never remove him. He knows resistance, activism, defiance has removed dictators, many, including here in Africa. So Museveni fears two things, fighting him outside elections, whether with guns or without guns. That's his focus. So he pays money to the politicals not to engage in fighting him outside elections and in not getting together to, to build a strong popular force that will achieve that. So it's up to us.